Hi guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in Lucerne, Switzerland, my personal favorite town in Switzerland. Beautiful place, definitely want to check it out. Um, in my time to Switzerland, I've gotten here to Lucerne a few times, Bern, Basel, Zurich, Interlaken, so if you're looking for your adventure travel stuff, Interlaken's a place to go. Uh, Lugano for your Italian kick when you're here. I've been to a lot of places here in Switzerland. It's given me kind of an idea of kind of the best and worst of the country. And so that's what we're going to have is our top five, or I should say, the five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Switzerland. Okay. Now, I like to start with the bad news first. And really, there's only one major hate you're going to have about Switzerland, and that's the price. Guys, number one, Switzerland is expensive. I, I will not lie to you. If you are on a budget for your travels in Europe, do not come to Switzerland. You cannot afford it. If you're thinking you're going to save money, if you're going to stop at McDonald's, two menus and a Happy Meal is going to cost you 40 US dollars, 36 francs, okay? So just be prepared that this is not a cheap place to go. And that's the big white elephant in the room. Be careful. So you don't destroy your budget with Switzerland. But if money doesn't matter, this is an awesome place to go, okay? The food, the chocolate, the Alps, all kinds of stuff, okay? But the first thing you're going to hate though, as a normal traveler is the, the expense, because it is expensive here. Number two, three, four, and five of the hates really aren't so much hates, they're just slight annoyances, because the only thing you're really gonna hate about Switzerland is the price, the expensiveness, okay? So the second thing that's just gonna be an annoyance for you here is the service. Okay, the service here is, well, I guess you'd say offhand. It's kind of like you're not that important, so it's kind of like just, okay, yeah, I'll get on it, whatever. Okay, now the thing is, you can get some amazing service here. We are staying at a, it's called the Bed and Breakfast here in Lucerne. The women there, Evelyn, super nice people, so you can get good service, but in general, you kind of get offhand service would be the basic thing there. The third thing you're not gonna like about when you come here is the number of rules. Guys, I've gotten fined in many countries in the world. Switzerland's the only place I ever got fined for an actual reason versus getting ripped off. So they are very, you know, straight laced. But the rules, you know, if your hostel says no sounds after 10 or they'll throw you out, there's a good chance they will, okay? So make sure you follow the rules when you're here. It can get a little annoying, but just so you know that, okay? The fourth thing you're not gonna like about it here is, is the nightlife. There's not a lot of nightlife here. If you're coming here, I mean, I've had students from Portugal, Finland, Germany, they've come to study here for semesters and they tell us, I ask them, hey, what did you guys like and not like? There's one big thing that has the nightlife. It's a little boring, because unless you have a lot of money, you can't really go out and enjoy things because it's so expensive, okay? So the fourth thing is not much of the nightlife out there. And the fifth thing is, well, it could be a hate or a love. So if you have children, you're gonna hate this. They're not very kid friendly, okay? I've been in Zurich with a friend of mine. We tried to go to a restaurant with his son. They said, no, we don't let kids in. It's not very, I mean, it's just in general not very kid friendly. But if you don't like kids, then hey, it's great. So for my friend Sandra and Savannah, it's a perfect place for you, okay? Because they don't like the kids here. All right, or at least they make it a little more difficult to travel with kids in Switzerland, okay? So the five things you're not gonna like about coming to Switzerland as a, tra as a tourist, one, and the biggest one overall by far is the expense. It is an expensive place. Two, now we're getting the slight annoyances, not the kind of offhand service. Three, the lots of rules that are here. Four, not much nightlife. And five, not very kid friendly. Now, the thing is, there's lots of things you're gonna love about coming to Switzerland, okay? And the first thing is the landscape. Guys, did you see the mountains back here? Here, let's swing around. Go, oh, you can't really see, but you go out into the lakes, the mountains, all kinds of stuff. The landscapes here in Switzerland are amazing. Hiking in the Alps, guys, I mean, it's literally like, you feel like sound of music kind of stuff. I mean, it's just beautiful here with all these things. <coughs> when you're taking the train through the city, or between towns, put away your iPod, put away your iPad, and just look out the windows to take in the beautiful scenery, the waterfalls, the mountains, the snow caps, all kinds of stuff, all these things. The second thing you're gonna love about here is the small quaint villages. Lucerne's, you know, 50 some thousand people, but when you're taking those trains around and seeing things, you're gonna see all these little fortress towns. There's all kinds of little towns to check out. Um, even if you're just driving by, it is, they're just beautiful, okay? They have nice local museums, all kinds of great stuff. So that's the second thing you're gonna love, it's the small quaint villages. The third thing you're going to love about coming to Switzerland is the mix of cultures. You have German culture here, you have French culture, Italian culture. So you get kind of a mix of all three of them in one small country. So you can get a, t a taste of Italy, you can get a taste of France, a taste of Germany all over the country. And it is really kind of a cool thing. You see this big melting pot that Switzerland is, okay? The fourth thing you're going to love about here is the public transport. Whether it's in cities or between cities, I mean, you can go to the tiniest little village there's gonna be regular service to that town, so you can see it, it's great. 
Um, and what's cool is when you're on the public transport, you can see the whole town, you can see the mountains, you can see the fortresses, all kinds of great stuff, okay? And the fifth thing you're gonna love about coming to Switzerland is the chocolate and the cheese. Guys, anything with cheese and anything with chocolate in this country, you will love. It it is amazing. That's Swiss. They do lots of good things, but the two things they do best are chocolate and cheese. So make sure you eat a lot when you're here. So the five things you're going to love when you come to Switzerland, one, the landscape with the mountains and the, and the Alps and the, the lakes and all kinds of stuff. Number two, the small quaint villages that are just beautiful to check out like Lucerne or, or Lugano or wherever. Number three, the melting pot, the mixture of German, French and Italian culture. Number four, the great public transport they have here. And number five, the chocolate and the cheese. So guys, have a great time here in Switzerland. I hope to give you a little heads up of what you're going to do. If you want to learn more about traveling in Switzerland, you want to see what to do here in Lucerne, learn a little German or whatever, check us out on our website, www.waltersworld.com. And please, like and subscribe to this video. Bye.